This is our 2021 Toyota Corolla Hybrid. We just had over eight centimeters of snow in London, Ontario. And this is a good opportunity to test out exactly how the Corolla Hybrid does. Right here, electronic parking brake, a brake hold function as well. How this works is if I have the vehicle in drive and I have the brake hold function initiated, I can simply take my foot off the brake, the vehicle won't move until I press the accelerator again, right there. That's the wheel lock nut. I don't want that to be shaking around. So as you can see right now the engine's turned on so it's sending power to the battery. But with different drive modes here, that'll put it to either in eco, normal, or power mode. Now we can put it in power mode and actually turn on EV mode. But unfortunately EV mode is not available at the moment just because the vehicle was just turned on for the first time today. So it's still charging up the battery. But let's take us for a drive and eventually turn it on into EV mode only. This is the hybrid with the upgraded tech package. This gives you access to a heated steering wheel, which is nice and warm, especially on days like today. I also have a windshield wiper de-icer, heated seats for both the driver and passenger, a wireless charger, Standard on all 2020 models and up is Toyota Safety Sense. With this Corolla you're getting blind spot monitoring, adaptive cruise control with lane departure warning, and lane keep assist. This also includes pre-collision system, so in the case that there's a vehicle coming up, it'll actually stop for you. Right now because of the temperature differences with the wet roads and the snow all over, it's unfortunately not detecting the lanes. This is primarily used in good weather conditions, but it still works with adaptive cruise control. Right now I have it set to 64 kilometers an hour and it is set to the furthest setting. So if there is a vehicle in front of me, it will actually slow down. It will come to a full stop at a traffic light too. On the steering wheel you have radio adjustments. You also have a voice command. Tuned to 97.5. 97.5 FM. Tuned to 103.1. 103.1 1 FM. They have Christmas music going on. If you have your phone hooked up, you can also simply use this for Siri, or if you want to contact anybody you have in your Bluetooth connections. This Corolla also features brake torque factoring. So coming up to a turn, it will break the inside wheels and send more power out to the outside wheels. You can easily do tight turns like that. Let's see if EV mode will work now. No, oh, EV mode unavailable. Perhaps it's with the drive mode.
automatic headlights with automatic high beams. How this works is you can turn off the auto, turn on the automatic high beams, and what you do is simply push the stock forward to activate it. So anytime that it detects light or there's a vehicle incoming, it will turn off the high beams, and we will pay attention to when it actually turns on once we get on this dark road up ahead. So right there, just went into EV mode by itself. If you look at the tachometer there, it's showing zero rotations per minute, meaning that the engine is not on. It just turned on again, just because I kicked in the accelerator. But if I'm coasting, and I, there we go, take my foot off the brake. Now we're going uphill, so it has to accommodate for that turns on the power mode again. And it just turned on automatic high beams by itself. Now we'll see when that turns off, and it just turned off because there's a snowplow coming up. And we'll see if it goes back on, and it just went back on again. The reason why it's turning on and off at the moment is because it is detecting the reflections based on the uh, city lights. So naturally, with city lights, you're not going to need high beams anyways. There's a truck coming up, so it's keeping it off. Now just turn it on again and turn it off because that other vehicle's coming up. Let's test out this brake torque vectoring again. You can genuinely feel it if you turn off the uh, if you turn off the traction control, in the sense that it deactivates it. Cruise control set to 79 kilometers. Oh, just went to 80. Because there's no throttle input, turns off the engine once again, and we are cruising on all electric. This is where you're going to get a lot of your fuel consumption savings in this city. Right now, I'm foot's off the brake, foot's off the gas, nothing's happening. Simply cruising up to the traffic light. Even with a bit of throttle input right now, keeping it at 49, it still does not turn on the engine. And welcome back to North London Toyota. 
It's better lighting here, so you'll be able to actually see the interior of the Corolla Hybrid. And we'll be doing more point of view driving videos in the daytime. And this is our front pad where we keep all of the vehicles. Built-in backup camera. With the snow there's a bit of water droplets on it at the moment. So anytime your parks are even at a traffic light, it'll go, it'll turn off the engine and put it right down to zero rotations per minute. So it's all electric. If you'd like to test drive this vehicle or any of our other new vehicles and test out Toyota's safety sense features, please give us a call at 519-451-3880. My name is Noah and thank you for watching.